welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy A1. Can you see my finger? No, wait. One. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. I've been look. I just looked in the camera while I was just see. Hey, how my finger looks? And pretty much blurry. But anyways, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we like finished. We. They were annoyed on how stupidly I just, uh, not the daddy beetle, the snippy beetle, who was it? And this episode will, will be soon in Bowser to his lair in the turrets. And maybe he's just drawing on Kevin Peach. Nope, wait, nope. The title of Bowser Jr. is in a lot of whatever. What was Bowser Jr. and mechanical stuff? I just noticed that. Wherever you fight Bowser Jr., it's always a mechanical thing. It's never something non mechanical. It's always mechanics, mechanics, mechanics. He is one genius boy. I'm sorry. When he grows up, he's going to be way better than Bowser. Really, I can't just fly straight to it. Oh, this is what I like. You can actually make them fall in the black hole. It's funny. So, uh, the only thing I don't like about this level is the stupid annoyance. Exactly what I meant about annoyance. Yeah, you saw that? How it broke oh, the container? Yeah, you're gonna want to do that for quite a few levels. I mean, not quite a few levels for that. I think you do have to do that again in another level. Oh, which is like hard, but yeah, it's an annoying. Yeah, lure all the way to it. Man, dang. When I say Bowser Jr., I don't know or whatever. They literally mean that right away. Hey, what? Wah ha ha! Now you, you made it. So, Bowser goes guah ha ha. He goes wah ha ha. Guah, wah. I'll just add a G in front of the thing. <laughs> but I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Ah, oh, Bowser was just was this by the sun. And go at a, a mega lake. They stomp in with power of your your grand star. Mega lake. Well, that seems like one of the names I would get. That I would give something. Since I am not good at names. And dang, I was at a mega lake. Well, should it be called mega lake since that actually sounds better. And it has more than one leg, it has three legs, not one. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, so as you can see, like, basically what you need to do is just hurry up when his foot is planted on the ground. And hurry up and get to it. And get to the hub. And I'll head up to his head from his, his foot, from foot to head. Now, you thought I was going to say head to toe. No, it's foot to head. And I did it right. Wow. Thought I've been trying. I get it to go boom on the thing. <sighs> find your way around and lose a bullet bill over to the gate to get the grand star. But if you take too long to get the bullet bill in there, the gate right, will go back up. So you have to re-break it down. Yeah, that's 
Spirit throwing difficulty on that boss. Yeah. Oh, it's inside. Metal. What? What is? Oh my gosh! It looks like a place where, like, a, like a violent game would be in. Like you just, a violent game with aliens or something. Where you're supposed to be killing aliens to be in. And where you're supposed to be, where there's a bunch of pets, hallways that in, and the aliens will just come out and try to kill you. Well, dang, I actually did that pretty quickly. So I guess we will, uh, in this episode, we will we'll be doing two also. Wow. That's actually pretty good. We need to get more than one at a time. And then I'm going to have to take like a 10,000 episodes. Ooh, Street of Light. And I just saw like a, that was weird. That Street of Light, when the platform started growing at the door, uh, the dome was opening. I think the, there was like this weird dog-like thing and that showed up. The a ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. And when you recover a grand star, it will post uh, our, our power will be restored and, and the beacon will grow. The comet observatory can be used so it that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we it will even be able well, to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. Fountain. The dome is called Fountain. The first one's called Turrets. The next one's called Fountain. Turrets, Fountain. And the new one, the open dome is called Fountain. Yeah, that's some name. It's really quite relaxing. And by the way, have you looked at that the map? It contains information about galaxies and, as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, well, don't hesitate to speak with me. Yeah, like I'm gonna forget where I'm going and never mind about the other level. Let's just go check out some stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm really gonna forget where our dome is. When, uh, this is actually not very big. Oh, hey, I just remember something. Aw, oh, he's not here yet. Well,. I'll keep it a secret. Oh, you know, it's a he. I think it might be a she, but I think it's most likely a he. <gasps> it's a glitch! Oh, it's not a glitch yet. Yeah, um, this, this launch star right here, this is probably going to be one of the only ones. This is the only one I think it's actually green, and, and you won't be able to oh, use it until like a long time, not even until you're like really, really far in the game. So you won't so, so try to bother doing anything with that yet because you won't be able to do anything until like really, really far in the game. Step here to go to the fountain. Okay, I will. Oh man, it's so Yep, that's how you use these. That's how, oh, well, that's what those war pets do. They lead you to you know, other places around this. It's so. Uh, that you use some, so, how many places you can't reach or there is some shortcuts. Well, next time, I mean, we shall, I'll be heading to, actually, yep. Well, next time, when we will uh, unlock uh, the new actual galaxy and an absolute cute galaxy, but first, a uh, cute galaxy. So, see you then. And if you were always wondering what that one boy was,
Because it, it might be back here. Yeah, I said I'm being back here when I play this game. Well, see you.